Good morning. Would you like to know a little bit more about basal liposuction and body contouring? Have you been confused about whether you should be doing a liposuction for the abdomen or not? Good morning again. My name is Dr. Amit. I'm a plastic surgeon. Today is a great day. Keep watching this video and you'll get wonderful tips on how a uh, vasal liposuction is done and how uh, later I have another surgery for a tummy tuck. So I'll also explain in which situation we do a tummy tuck and which situation we do a liposuction. So please see the other video as well. Now I almost always use a vasal technology for a liposuction of the abdomen. Now this is an extremely safe procedure and a liposuction is almost the most common cosmetic surgery treatment in the world and especially in women. Now the difference between a liposuction and a tummy tuck would be that in liposuction we want to take out the extra fat. As long as there is no extra skin, extra skin occurs in post childbirth or post weight loss. So as long as there is no extra skin, we would consider a liposuction for a, a body contouring procedure. The procedure takes about two and a half to three hours. We can in addition do a lot of tummy shaping, create the muscle outlines, create a buttock outline or uh, what is also known as a Brazilian buttock lift. So all that is possible. Uh, the more advanced the procedure, the more aggressive it becomes, the longer it takes. Usually daycare, we do in the morning and by late evening the patient is discharged. I always suggest a four to five day rest time off from work, absolute rest. You can have a bath the next day morning as well, do basic activities yourself. And you would be needing to wear a pressure garment which is like a corset for a period of three to six weeks and it is only to be worn for three-fourths of the day, not the entire day. Any Now the advantage of vasor over a conventional liposuction is that it adds more safety. The blood loss is significantly reduced, also allows skin contraction. So if there is a little bit of loose skin and the patient is not so much convinced about a tummy tuck, which is of course a far better procedure for loose skin management, then a vasor is a great option. With Vaser, we can create these outlines and six packs in men. Conventional tumescent liposuction cannot create that kind of a shape. The enhanced safety because of lesser uh, blood loss allows a much faster recovery. So I always suggest that you should do a Vaser if you want to do a liposuction for the abdomen. Now I'm going to be taking you inside the operating room in a while and uh, I will show you what situation the patient today is a borderline case between an ideal candidate for a vasal lipo versus a tummy tuck. So we mutually decided that she did not want a long recovery period. So we decided that we'll go with the vasal. Now vasal will allow that little bit of skin contraction to occur and give a good shape. So I'm going to be creating a nice hour glass. We're going to be putting the fat in the buttock as well. Uh, she doesn't want a classical uh, buttock lift, just wants a little bit of enlargement because the silhouette, the back outline is a little flat. Uh, some of the key points in liposuction, one, safety, how do we ensure safety? Please be cautious that never do a large body or a whole body liposuction. It is not safe. There are some doctors who propose it and patients feel happy that they'll start to look better in one go. But it is absolutely unsafe. According to guidelines, more than 5% body weight removal of fat is not recommended and is not safe. And that causes significant recovery problems later on. So do not fall for this trick of a whole body liposuction. It doesn't exist. Suppose larger areas have to be done, divide it into two stages. Do the upper body first, maybe six weeks or eight weeks later, do the lower body first. Third tip, always, always check the credentials of the doctor. Liposuction is something which only plastic surgeons should be doing. Please ensure because it's your safety, it's in your hands. Do not go to any general surgeon or a dermatologist or any other doctor for a liposuction procedure. If it is not performed correctly, it is a very dangerous procedure. Please remember that. For plastic surgeons, we do it day in, day out. We are well experienced. So, we, so therefore, only plastic surgeons should be doing it. So these are the basic... Essential is rest. You must take out about 5 days to 7 days. I always recommend that you need a rest period to get the best results. And the fifth tip is it's a long recovery process. Please do not worry if by the end of the week or 10 days or 2 weeks later you still haven't got your shape. It takes 3 months and in some patients it can take even 6 months to get the final shape. So please have trust in your plastic surgeon when they say that there's swelling and it will take time. So they will take care of it. 
So these are the five really important tips that you should know before you consider any liposuction. Liposuction can be done for the chin, arms, breast. We can reduce the breast with lipo as well. We can do the thighs, we can do the calf. Uh, sometimes we do the back of the neck, the bull neck it is called. Uh, we do the inner thighs, we can even reduce the buttocks in some patients. So for all this, you please need to get in touch with me on my office uh, number 9811-994417. If you want to get in touch with me, you can WhatsApp me. Please do not call me on this number, but you can WhatsApp me on 9999-729-49. And uh, once again, my name is Dr. Amit. I'm a plastic surgeon, a very well experienced plastic surgeon, especially for vasal liposuction procedures. And uh, I wish you a great day today. Patient, now this is the laser machine which we are going to use. The first step is always infiltration, and then this will be followed by the laser where we liquefy the fat using the laser technology. And finally, there will be suction in a direction so that we are able to create these curves and some muscle outline. Now, an important thing here is we look at the amount of loose skin. When you see the patient, there is hardly any loose skin which is falling down. Therefore, this patient is not a candidate for a tummy tuck surgery. If she had a lot of loose skin which I can pull down, that patient becomes a candidate for a tummy tuck. In this patient, using laser, we will be able to achieve a good skin tightening as well as a good shape and that will be absolutely sufficient for her. If we do a tummy tuck, it is, I think it's a wrong procedure for her. It is not required at all. A good liposuction, laser, Creating good shapes is absolutely enough for uh, to solve what her requirement is. So this is an important difference. The other patient which I am going to be doing in another hour, I will show the difference where there is a lot of skin laxity and that patient requires a tummy tuck.